back so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now I recently just got some new makeup gig eyeshadows in the mail so I wanted to play around with a couple of colors and this is what I came up with so I really hope you guys enjoy the look don't forget to give it a like if you like it and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one so I'm starting out by priming my eyelids I'm using my Mac painterly paint pot as usual and then I'm going in with some sticky tape and I'm just applying this to the corner of my eyes so I get a nice sharp edge. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow on a fluffy brush and I'm just blending this right into the crease and above it. Then I'm going in with this beautiful shade called Carnival and this is again by Makeup Geek. And I'm just using a fluffy brush just to buff this into the crease and I'm bringing it right into the inner corner as well. Then I'm going in with the shade Corrupt and this is just a matte black and I'm using a MAC 217 brush just to start to apply this to the outer corner and then slightly blend it into the crease. So just applying most of the colour on the outer corner and then buffing the rest into the crease. Then I'm going in with the lid colour. This is Makeup Geek's Foiled Shadow in Charmed. It is a beautiful like silvery green colour and I'm applying this with my finger to my lid. Then I'm going back in with the blending brush and just blending the corrupt shade and that foiled shade together so everything's nice and seamless. Then I'm using Maybelline's Blackest Black Gel Liner just to create a wing. So I'm just doing quite a thin wing and yeah, you can do whatever wing size you like. Then I'm removing the tape and I'm applying some eyeliner to my tight line. This one's the Eye of Horus Black Eyeliner which is one of my favourites. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. And then I'm going in with falsies. These ones are my favourites, the Vegas Ney Shining Star Eyelashes. Moving on to the face, I'm first starting with my Bare Minerals Prime Time. This one's the neutralising shade and so it just neutralises any redness in my skin. Then I'm just going to correct my under eye circles and I'm using this salmon shade from the Kryolan Concealer Wheel and just using a fluffy airbrush concealer brush to buff this underneath the eyes. Um, I'm only doing a light layer just to cover up that discoloration. Then for foundation, I'm mixing the Makeup Forever HD foundation with the Cogendo Aqua foundation and I'm just blending all of this out with my Artiste Oval 8 brush. Then to conceal and highlight, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer just applying this underneath my eyes in a triangular motion and then all down the center of my face and I'm just using the same brush to blend everything out. You do have to be careful around your eyes though because it is a big brush. Then to set the concealed areas I'm using my MAC MSF in Light Plus and just using this Morphe G8 brush just to press this all into the skin. And then to set the rest of the face, basically where I'm going to contour because I wanted it to be nice and smooth. So I'm using this Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder. And then I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Bad Habit Contour Pen. This is the light warm shade and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So I'm using a Nude by Nature contour brush just to buff this onto the cheekbones. And then bringing it up around the temples and the hairline and all of that good stuff. To just intensify my cheekbone contour, I took the NARS Ida brush and I'm just applying more of the product just right under the cheekbones. Um, I just wanted a nice defined contour. Then for highlight, I'm starting with ColourPop Wisp Highlighter. So I'm just applying this with a foundation brush to the high points of my cheekbones. And then I'm going in with a blush. This one is the Balm Hot Mama, I think it's called. Um, and I'm just blending this onto my cheeks. I wish I had have applied a little bit less, but you get that. And then I wanted to set the creamy highlighter, so I'm using Becca Champagne Pop over the top, just on a Eco Tools fan brush, and I'm applying this down the center of my face as well. Then to set all of my base in place, I'm just using Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Onto the lower lash line, I'm taking Carnival again on a fluffy brush and just buffing this right underneath the lash line and I'm bringing it right into the inner corner. I wanted this shade to stand out. Then taking Corrupt again on the 217, I'm just buffing this really closely to the lash line on the outer third. And then going back in with Charmed on a angled brush by Real Techniques, I'm just applying this to the lower lash line and mainly in the inner corner. 
Then for an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm just using Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer Eyeshadow. And then I'm going to apply my black eyeliner again to my waterline just to give it a bit more of a smoky look and apply some lower lash mascara. For the lips, I just went with MAC Pure Zen Lipstick and applied this all over the lips. And that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So today's video is going to be a... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My ear fell off. I mainly got eyeshadows, actually pretty much everything is eyeshadows besides I got one contour pan. So I'm going to go through and show you guys everything that I got. So I'll start out with the contour pan seeing as...